It's important to define what we mean by a quantum state of a particle. And an analogy I like to use is, have you ever gotten a, a blind bag, a mystery box, baseball cards, just whatever, where there's you know something and in, in, inside of it is a prize and the prize is selected at random, where you're not exactly sure what you're gonna get until you open up the box. And on the outside of the box, there's listed all the things you might get. And some of them are given a greater rarity or commonality or, or some chance, some uh, defined chance for how often you might get that thing. So there might be, if it's like a box with a collection of toys of different figurines, some figurines might be incredibly common. Some might be, you know, maybe like one in 10 or you know one in 50. Some might be rare and some might be incredibly super duper rare. Now, the difference between a blind box you know, or a mystery bag or whatever and a quantum version of a blind bag or a mystery box is that in the normal mystery box with all the listing of, of what it might be and what you might open up to find, you know the thing is chosen ahead of time by someone, by either a robot in a factory or a person, or whatever. They, they put the thing in the box and then they close the lid. So there is only one item in the box, one type, one kind of figurine or toy. You just don't know what it is until you open it. Okay, fair enough, but the thing definitely exists. The quantum version of that is very, very different. In the quantum version, of a blind bag, mystery box, whatever, all possible states exist. All different kinds of figurines exist simultaneously in the box and the act of measurement, of opening the box and looking inside, doesn't just reveal what was in the box already, but select what is to be seen. And it's a very, very subtle distinction, and there's a lot of confusion around this distinction. And the quantum state, the actual definition of quantum state, is this. It's the listing outside the box of what you might see when you actually observe it. In, in, in the non-quantum version, the normal, everyday, blind bag, mystery box thing, there's the listing on the outside is some sort of mathematical distribution that tells you the chances of getting in any one particular figure. But the figure is already there inside the box, you just need to reveal it, but it's already there. In the quantum version, that listing of what you might get when you open up the box is itself an important physical quantity. It describes what you might see if you were open to open up the box and you must consider all possibilities simultaneously and until you actually make the measurement, until you actually open it up and reveal the particular state of that object, the selection from the quantum state of that object, you must understand and treat mathematically the entire quantum state, the entire probability of every possible realization inside that box. Now, we have to be a little bit careful with our metaphors because there's a temptation to take quantum mechanics a little bit too far and put it in places where it doesn't belong. I'm sure you've all heard uh, Schrodinger's cat experiment, right? thought experiment. There's no actual animals involved in being hurt. Uh, but you, you put a cat inside a box and you devise some contraption so that there's an exact 50-50 chance that when you open up the box, the cat will be either dead or alive. Maybe there's you know there's some radioactive decay and materials involved with poison. And, you know, you just It doesn't matter what the contraption is as long as there's a 50-50 chance that after you close the lid, wait an hour, the cat is either dead or alive, you're gonna open up and find out. And let's assume it's a perfect box, you're not gonna smell the cat or hear the cat or you know just whatever, it's, it's a perfectly sealed box. 
Now, Schrodinger devised this thought experiment to illustrate two things. One is to demonstrate what it means for a quantum state to be different than a classical state. And here, the quantum state is very different. The, the cat has two possible outcomes of the measurement. It's either dead or alive. In a normal classical picture, the cat really is dead or alive until you open up the box and then you, the cat is still dead or alive. You're just finding out about it. The, the lid of the box just conceals your knowledge, but it doesn't, can, it doesn't change what's actually happening inside the box. Either the cat is dead and you open up the box and you find a dead cat, or the cat is alive, you open up the box and the cat is alive. But the quantum picture tells us something else. The quantum picture tells us that until you open up the box, until you actually make the measurement, the cat is both dead and alive at the same time. All possible realizations of the entire quantum state are existing simultaneously, kind of in parallel, if you want to think of it that way. And then you open up the box and the actual act of measurement collapses the quantum state into one of its realizations and the cat becomes dead or becomes alive after you've made the observation, after you've made the measurement. Here's the thing. Of course, that's nonsense. Of course, it's ridiculous. The cat is not in a quantum state. A cat is not a quantum system. A cat is not both dead and alive inside of a box until you open it up and it becomes dead or becomes alive based on the coin toss of the observation. No, the cat really is dead or it is really alive. It doesn't exist in all possibilities simultaneously. It's picked one. The cat is either dead or alive. Schrodinger's point here is that things we learn about the quantum world don't apply to the macroscopic world. Just because a different set of rules applies at the subatomic realm doesn't mean all bets are off up here in the classical realm, in the classical, normal, everyday macroscopic world. Quantum rules simply don't apply to us up here, and especially cats. So the cat is a classical system. It's going to follow classical mechanics. It's going to be either dead or alive. Opening of the box doesn't change what the cat does. It just changes what you know about it. But if the cat were a subatomic particle, like an electron, and you were judging whether the electron was up or down and had a 50-50 chance of being either up or down, that is a quantum system. That is subject to quantum mechanics. The electron does exist in all possible states simultaneously. And the act of measuring the electron and making the observation selects from that quantum state one of the possible realizations, but it doesn't do that until you actually open the box. That is the key distinction here. The quantum state describes all possibilities. The act of measurement selects one of those possibilities from the quantum state until that act of measurement is done, all possibilities are treated equally and exist simultaneously. That doesn't apply to macroscopic objects. So just, just stop doing that. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to keep these shows going, please visit patreon.com slash PM. So it's how I keep all these shows going, all my education and outreach, it's based on your support. You can also subscribe, make sure you're notified when I go live, all the good YouTube stuff, and I'll see you next time.